This week, the Chancellor delivered his budget and he announced a careful package of tax cuts, cost of living help and investment in our public services. The most significant tax cut is on employee national insurance and that will be cut by another two pence from 10% to 8%. This will help around 27 million people and taken with the national insurance cut of last autumn, the average person will save about £900 per year. This helped the child benefit most immediately the threshold will go up from £50,000 to £60,000 and we are changing the way it's assessed so that more families can access it. For businesses, the threshold for VAT registration will go up to £90,000, freeing up many small businesses in Orpington from paying VAT. On the cost of living, fuel duty has been frozen for another 12 months and we are keeping the 5p cut which was due to end this month. Alcohol duty has been frozen until next year. And the Household Support Fund has been extended for another six months, helping councils support vulnerable people through warm spaces and food vouchers. We're also increasing funding for our public services. The National Health Service is getting an additional £6 billion and we're modernising IT systems, digitising operating processes and freeing doctors from form filling. And we're spending £105 million on building new special free schools across the country for children with special educational needs. Spending on our public services has gone up since 2010 and we are able to continue this because of careful economic management despite the pandemic and the war in the Ukraine. Inflation has fallen by more than half and debt is falling. And since 2010, we have grown faster than France, Germany and Italy, three of Europe's largest economies. So the measures announced in this week's budget will make a real difference to people in Orpington and across the country.